everybody, this is my 1982 Yamaha XS400RJ Seika with some modernizations. Not really a restoration, more of a restore mod. I've had this bike for just over four years, maybe just under five years. She's all cleaned up and ready to ride. I've been riding her up to now. She's been ridden regularly, garage kept. As you can see, she's got a cell phone mount, USB adapter down in there, KZ1000 regen regeneration fairing, bar end mirrors, heated grips. That's a standard petcock. The original Petcock was a vacuum based one. It's got a right angle fuel filter external. Those are really cheap and I'll provide a source for them. I also have a backrest. It was custom fabricated for this bike. Fast from the past fork brace specified to this very bike. Drilled out front brake rotor. Now this is a cold bike. Either this is a cold bike or I'm a lot tougher than I thought. Cold bike. She hasn't been run for a couple days. Actually it's been just over a week. The choke has a sweet spot. She's got some age to her so you really got to get that just right. Being a standard carburetor, it can evaporate so you want to prime it. So it stops bubbling. I shut it off. Chokes at the 50% mark. Keys in, whoa. Keys in the ignition. That's after it's sitting for a week. I always let it warm up for a minute before having to prime the carburetor again. There you have it, 1982 Yamaha XS400RJ Seika for sale. Starting bid is $1,200. Craigslist price, if not, a, if not eBay, is going to be $1,700.